What's up guys? This is Derek House from DHFTNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my oatmeal skillet protein cookie. So let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna do is take out a large bowl and then add in two cups or 160 grams of rolled oats, two large eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon or 21 grams of honey, two tablespoons or 32 grams of sugar-free chocolate syrup, half a cup or 122 grams of unsweetened applesauce, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, take out and melt half a tablespoon or seven grams of coconut oil, add your melted coconut oil in, usually around 30 or 40 seconds in the microwave will do, half a cup or four ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, if you don't like or can't find almond milk, you could use regular milk or any other milk substitute. And last before we mix it, two and a half scoops or 75 grams of vanilla protein powder. You could also use chocolate protein powder for more of a chocolate tasting cookie. Go ahead and mix everything together. After you finish mixing those ingredients, you're gonna add in 12 tablespoons or 84 grams of coconut flour. And as I always like to mention, coconut flour is a great source of fiber with five grams for every 60 calories. Mix your coconut flour in. Preheat your oven on 350 and take out at least a 10 inch skillet. If you don't have one, it's a great investment for your kitchen. The one I'm using was only around 15 bucks shipped and it'll last forever. I will post a link to it in the description below. Add your mix into your skillet and then press your mix into your skillet so that it looks something like that. Last before the oven, we're gonna add a couple ingredients on top, starting with three tablespoons or 45 grams of a sugar-free caramel dip. You just wanna evenly distribute it across the top. One tablespoon or 15 grams of sugar-free chocolate chips and then two tablespoons or five grams of jet puffed marshmallow bits. These are usually in the coffee aisle and they only cost around a dollar. That's what it should look like before the oven. Now put your skillet into the oven on 350 for around 20 to 25 minutes. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 1,728, 48 grams of fat, 213 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fiber, and 111 grams of protein. So if you make four servings out of this like I do, in each serving there's around 432 calories, 12 grams of fat, 53 grams of carbs, 12 and a half grams of fiber, and 28 grams of protein. After around 20 minutes for me, it does look done, so I'm just gonna take it out. You'll know it's done once it starts to turn a golden brown color. And there is your oatmeal skillet protein cookie. As you guys saw, the cookie is done. So now I'm just gonna try a bite. So this is basically a huge soft baked cookie that's still warm and cakey. If the Cookie Monster started exercising and for some reason he passed away, went to heaven, and had to eat something every single day, I'm pretty sure this is what he would choose. If that makes any sense at all. As for a tip, you could top this with some Greek yogurt, peanut butter, or my protein frosting recipe by clicking right there, which will help even out the protein and carb ratio in this recipe. Don't be scared of the carbs in this recipe either. The majority of them are complex and the recipe is loaded with fiber. 
All right, guys, I just want to thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there on the screen coming up. By subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got a cookie to finish. Stay healthy.